H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. We need to call this. Uh, so, from the SP, are we getting any output? From the stored browser, are we getting any 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 select query, any value? From the stored browser, are we getting any value? Yes. Uh, I I got only one response. What is the value I'm getting from stored browser? It is inserting the records. Apart from inserting the records, it is also sending me the customer ID. Okay. So now it is inserting the records and also it is sending me customer ID okay so now what I need to do now is I need to now if I want to get any any single value from the day from the store preserve for that single value if I want to get that single value I have to use execute scalar here I have to write cmd dot execute scalar so so let we added two parameters and there is no link between command and these parameters See here, I have created two variables for two parameters, but did did I assign this to command? Not yet. So I need to do here. So the code here is declared the SQL parameters. Now here I will be assigning that. Add parameters to your command. Okay, so here what I need to do here. Uh, I need to write uh, cmd dot parameters dot add I need to do here first parameter PRM customer name okay and then what I need to do cmd parameters dot add I need to write PRM uh, customer city so I added the parameters so anywhere did I tell what is my command type is stored preserve or text so as I didn't tell that it is a stored preserve it might think that it's an insert query we have to tell that this is a stored preserve. So for that what you need to do here cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot stored preserve. So so we need to tell that this command type is a stored preserve. So so then it'll execute it'll consider like a stored preserve. So here uh, everything is fine, we gave parameters, everything is fine now and here I am executing this. Here I need to put like this where command let me put here result is equal to execute scalar what execute scalar will do is so there are two methods one is execute non query which like which will execute your commands and execute scalar will return you the single object single value which is which in the form of object so so when I execute this it will execute my uh, command and whatever it is returning it will give it to me here so in the result okay so let's try to run this and see if we get any errors and we'll try to fix them okay so let me put a breakpoint here and then let me execute this so we are good I'll explain this again don't worry uh, let me run this how we create the procedure so let me execute this procedure so we have already created that so it should be fine now so let's see if we get any errors and we'll try to fix that so let me execute this So this is the advantage. So we always have to write stored results. We should never write. Uh, it is a bit confusing, but this is very easy. So let me explain this. So I'm entering here uh, a buy, and I'm entering here Bharat, or I'm entering here um, um, Kolkata. Let me click on save. So breakpoint is it enough? So I first connection will happen so this is very easy actually so don't get confused first I gave my connection F10 so I gave my command uh, I assigned my command uh, connection to my command and I'm telling that my connect command text is this and I'm telling my command type is stored procedure 
so previously uh, by default it it will assume that command text uh, command type is a text but since this is a stored processor i have to exclusively tell that my command type is stored processor okay and then i'm i'm giving two parameters because i have two parameters so i have to declare sql parameter and then i have to assign that parameter value so first value what is the value of this abai so i have to put the text box value abai to this parameter and then second city uh, i'm assigning to this parameter now these two parameters i have to add this to my command because my command is stored preserve the stored preserve expects two parameters so i i declared these two variables and i assign this to my command so now now my command i gave what is the command what is the type of command and what is the parameters i want to execute so i gave all the details to my or gave all the details to my st stored preserve to my command so now what i'm doing i'm i'm opening the connection now i'm executing scalar so execute scalar will return you one value whichever the stored preserve will return so let's see whether we get any error or not so it has executed i didn't get any error so see the result a uh, result i am seeing null ideally i should not see null value so let's try to examine why i am getting null okay so uh, there is something wrong in the stored preserve let's try to understand that now let me press f10 f10 ideally i should not get null here so press f10 f5 f5 so data saved let's verify whether the details are saved successfully or not okay so let me do select star from customer verify whether abai is saved or not so perfect it's saved but now i didn't get the value uh customer id okay so ideally i should have got okay i have two returns here that's the wrong here i have written customer id i have another return here so i have to remove this even then i should have got let me correct this if you want to correct something uh, you just need to instead of create make it alter that's all so let me execute this and then uh, let's see whether this works or not let me put a by one and kolkata one we'll click on save so i got a breakpoint here press f10 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 command got added and then i'm opening the connection so let me see the result still it is null so it is not because of that reason so let's try to understand what is what went wrong here so ideally i gave like this add customer details and uh, okay i'm writing max customer id from customer okay so now let me copy this let me copy this command separately and then verify go to new query paste it here and then let's verify so i i need to declare this okay so yeah we have scope identity uh, that is one way to do that i'm even this way also you can do it so okay so don't we have in the store pressure we have end here so i just copied here now declare at the rate customer name equal to varchat20 declare this one varchat20 and as i gave i don't need this because i am trying to execute this separately so declare at the rate customer id integer and set customer id equal to 0 okay i am inserting the records i am writing select customer id equal to max of this i am writing return customer id perfect so let me try to execute this so what is that i'm getting declare is it anything wrong here okay let me put here semicolon let me execute this now so there are different ways in achieving this but that's okay so we are trying to learn one way so print we cannot cover all the possibilities in this course this course will give you a uh, uh, where you can get started okay so now i'm getting 6 here so 6 is the uh, value here now let me try to do here select star from employee customer press f5 so i am getting null because i am not initialized that's fine but i'm i'm still getting my customer id 
Okay, so I'm getting my customer ID. So ideally, that means this SP is correct. So let's try to test uh, this SP directly again. So I'm getting one row affected, and this should return the customer ID. Okay, let let's try to understand what is that I gave here. Execute scalar, right? Yeah, execute scalar. Okay. Instead of return, I did a mistake here. I should have put select here instead of return. Okay, so let me put select. I just I just recall realized that I should give select here. Okay, so let me execute this. Okay, uh, now 100% this value should be should come there. Okay, so now uh, if I am getting this detail saved successfully, and I'll put here dot your customer ID is. So let me put stop here, and uh, let's put here dot customer ID colon. I'll put here plus uh, plus convert dot, or I can put simply here result dot to string. Okay fine so we'll get the value now let me run this okay I'm going to put here uh, ABC ABC click on this save okay F10 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 so you need to press break F10 is a uh, to step to next line so now I I am I'm executing this. See now I'm getting result as eight. I'm getting the value next line as eight. So now detail saved successfully and this is how you get the value. Okay. So I'm saving detail saved successfully, I'm getting customer ID as eight. So for a store pressure you can actually give uh, a select command or you can actually give a return command. When you are using return you have to use output parameter. So when you're writing select uh, you can actually get it using execute non query. So don't worry uh, if you are not getting all these things. So I'll just summarize it here so that uh, if you have any question, uh, before asking me, maybe if you know the answer, maybe try and practice it. If you're not able to do that, if you're not able to get that, please uh, ask in the class. Okay. The, the reason why is we might not be able to cover all the scenarios in the class because we have limited time, like uh, we have 50 hours to complete the course. So we will get, yeah, I will give the store pressure, yeah. I'll ping everyone, the store pressure, please have this. Okay, 